On the morning of December 29 until noon of the same day, Azerbaijani forces launched an infiltration attempt, this time not in the direction of nagorno karabakh but targeting the Chinari village in the Tavush region on the border of the Republic of Armenia with Azerbaijan. As a result, two private soldiers of the Armenian Defense Army and an officer were killed. Arman Tatoyan, the human rights defender of the Republic of Armenia, presented the results of the fact-finding mission his office had initiated by sending the Gerhard Kunik regional representative to Chinari on the day off and through several other visits in the day that followed. During a meeting with journalists, Tatoyan mentioned that the attack launched by the Azerbaijani armed forces was obviously in breach of all international norms protecting the right to life. The mission accomplished without doubt that the Azerbaijani infiltration attempt was initiated under no risk of attack from the Armenian side. Targeted civilian settlements situated a considerable distance from any military post, and it started in the morning and lasted till noon of December 9, making it clear that the target of the attack was civilian life and health. Tensions have been high in January on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border. On January 3, the school, 2.36 kilometers from the border, and the kindergarten, 1.74 kilometers from the border, came under Azerbaijani fire. Houses were targeted on the night of January 8. The Ombudsman's office has gathered visual documentation of the damage caused by these attacks. On January 13, the Baganis Voskepa road was targeted by Azerbaijan for an intensive hour when considerable traffic was expected. In the weeks to follow, Arman Tatoyan has planned visits to Strasbourg and Brussels, where he will present the documentation gathered by and the conclusion of the fact-finding mission of the Ombudsman's office, which calls for international condemnation of Azerbaijan's unacceptable behavior targeting the Republic of Armenia and its civilians.